An MRI breast biopsy is used to identify and take samples of lumps or other areas of concern within the breast. A technologist conducts an MRI imaging procedure to again show the area that needs to be biopsied. These locations are plotted on a grid, which is used to pinpoint the area so a small piece of tissue can be removed and examined. During the procedure, the patient lies on the table with her breasts suspended through a special opening. The breasts are slightly compressed. A marker is placed through the grid so that it touches the patient's breast. An open grid is positioned on the side of the table to guide the procedure. The table and patient are advanced into the MRI. A contrast agent is injected to help produce sharper images, which show abnormalities more clearly. It is very important that the patient remain as still as possible throughout this procedure. The radiologist examines the MRI images to identify the area to be biopsied. The biopsy site is cleaned and an anesthetic is injected. A needle guide is used to carefully align the biopsy instruments. Another short set of MRI images is taken to confirm the position of the instruments. Once the position is verified, small samples of breast tissue are removed using a specialized biopsy tool. The radiologist places a tiny marker in the breast at the biopsy sites so they can be easily identified on a mammogram. The markers are made of titanium and pose little, if any, health or safety risk. Patients often are not even aware of them. When the marker is in place, the biopsy instrument is carefully removed. After the procedure, a bandage is placed over the incision site. Once the biopsy is complete, another MRI image may be done to verify that the samples are from the correct areas of the breast. The MRI breast biopsy takes about an hour and a half. The patient may be given an ice pack to keep the swelling down. Sometimes a compression bandage is wrapped around the chest to minimize bruising. After a short recovery period of one to two days, patients can usually return to their normal daily activities. The breast samples are sent to a pathology lab where they are carefully examined. Results are reviewed by the radiologist and then made available to the patient and doctor. Based on the findings, the doctor makes recommendations for surgery or other beneficial treatments.